Holy Hannah, it's a cold one this morning. Fingertips are frozen. I think we're getting that warning shot that winter is near. So with that warning shot, I'm gonna start picking up these yards to bring them a little bit closer to home. These are my out yards. And I want to get these ones tidied up first, nice and close, and then I'm, as they can work, I'm going to pick and choose to bring things back before we do the ultimate oxalic acid treatment and maybe clean up anything that might be lingering after my Apivar treatment. I'm going to be uh, pulling the Apivar next week, it's supposed to get nice, so they say. And we're going to take advantage, we're just pushing the end of that treatment by next week. So we're going to take advantage of the nice weather, get through pull all the strips, and then follow through with our oxalic acid treatment. And get things figured before we get them away for winter. So we're going to try to target some of the nice weather, maybe use today as my warning shot. Cold weather, you know, get your work done. So next week we're going to focus in on the bees again and finish up for the year. I think these hives, I haven't been in my yards for over a month now. Carrie's been going around and feeding and I think everything is fairly, I got to go around with a scale yet, but they're heavy like a stone. So that's a good thing. I'm going to go through with a scale just to confirm my heft test but we practically have as much as we can get into these colonies as we can. And with that, we've been able to shrink that brood nest and shut them right down. On a nice day, I might confirm that. And when I can confirm that, then we're gonna hit them with oxalic just to target those little bastard mites. So as I'm moving these girls, I'm not sure if it's cold enough to suck that cluster up tight into the box, if there's gonna be a lot of lingering bees on the bottom board. But if there's too much trouble, I'm just gonna move them as they are and just be the annoyance of having to sort these partials onto the truck. But uh, what can I say? Let's do what I can do. Let's see what we can do here. Ah. I'll bring that colony over and tip this one back. The one I have on there definitely it's a box of bees i'm going to be transferring that but this one almost looked like the bottom board was a little bit clear so let's see even my arm is cold this morning running a little slower It'd be really convenient if i can just shift them on without too much trouble no not going to be able to look at that colony I, was, I don't know why I thought there's not too many on the bottom board, but this is a job I'm going to have to do on a little bit of a warmer day. I don't want to lose all those nice winter bees. So it looks like I'm just going to have to put up with the inconvenience of not really getting my work done before I wanted to move these yards out. I'll just have to fuss with these partials and then I'll deal with them. I think I'll deal with them much the same as this. I had a buddy who said, hey Ian, why are you worrying about the bees in the bottom board and tapping in front and such? Just, when you set them into your new yard, set them like this. Nice day, transfer that box over and then just let these bees march themselves back in. It's easy breezy. <clears throat> and that's, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Holy moly, time to add my long underwear. <laughs> 